Hi guys, I'm Kapako. In this video, I'll go over 7 things I wish I knew before using Live2D. These tips will help make the Live2D rigging easier. If you need a tutorial on how to start using Live2D to rig your VTuber model, check out my last video in this series. Alright, let's get started! Number 1. Sample Live2D Models Follow the link which I will post in the video description to the official Live2D website. Here are Live2D models that you can download and study from. You can download all these models and get ideas from each one, or you can choose your favorite and learn from it. The models I used were the receptionist version of Haru, which I used to study how to separate the layers of the artwork, and Hiyori Momose, which I used to study the Live2D deformer hierarchy and keyforms for each parameter. These sample models were especially useful to double check if you're making your VTuber model correctly. Number two is how to replace a part in Live2D. For example, you have started rigging your model, but you want to change the color of the clothing or you want to separate the limbs differently. You can go into the Photoshop file and edit the artwork, then save it under a different name. Open your work in progress Live2D and drag and drop to import your new Photoshop file. Select your Live2D file, select Replace, and click OK. The parameters that you have previously rigged will transfer over onto your new Photoshop file textures. Number three is how to smooth joints. To hide how obvious it is where one joint begins and the other ends, firstly, select the thigh and the lower leg and select Edit Mesh manually. Click the lasso tool and select the points around the joint. Click Bind to glue the points together and click the check mark. Now, where we bend the joint, the glue causes the layers to look like it is stretching. Number four is how to do the other side. So you have deformed one side beautifully, but it's difficult to remember how to deform the other side exactly the same to match. Instead of deforming it manually, select the completed keyform, click on the three lines, select reverse motion. Select the direction you want to reflect and click OK. Now, both sides will be deformed exactly the same. Number five is how to change parameter keyforms. If you have already deformed the keyforms perfectly, but then you realize that your model is moving left for the right keyform and moving right for the left keyform, you don't have to undo everything and start over. Click on the number, under the drop down, choose Reflect. Now, the right keyform and the left keyform will be reflected so that your model is moving in the correct direction. There is another way to change parameter keyforms too, which will be more useful when you have more than three keyforms. Click on the number and under the drop down, choose Adjust. Swap the keyform values and click OK. Now, your model is moving in the correct direction. Number six is how to smoothly link X and Y angles. Finish rigging the keyforms for angles X and Y. Click on the paper clip to link X and Y angles together. With the deformer selected, click on the three lines and select Synthesize Corners, then click OK. Now, the corner keyforms will match the rest of the angles. Number seven is how to do the other eye after you have fully animated one eye. Hide or delete the other eye. Then select all the deformers and textures of the completed eye and copy and paste it. 
Right click on the canvas and select reflect. Choose eye open and eye smile parameters and click OK. The keyform values are incorrect, but the right eye is now fully animated. Next, we need to make the right parameters control the right eye. Choose left eye open, click on the number, under the drop down, choose change. Select right eye open and click OK. Do the same thing for left eye smile. Finally, we need to change the keyforms, and I've already explained how to do this. For the eye open, use adjust to swap the keyform values. And for eye smile, use reflect. Now, both eyes are animated exactly the same. I hope you learned something new. Please give this video a like if you did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. By the way, I'm sorry for the slightly clickbaity title, but I went through the entire process of rigging my VTuber model without knowing how to properly replace parts and without knowing that reverse motion shortcut. So I had to manually make the left and right face tilt match and it was a struggle. Basically, don't be me, do things efficiently, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.